Here in my hand are some very large pupae from which a very beautiful moth will emerge. If you look closely, you can see the wings, legs, and antenna outlined through the pupal case. So let's take a look at the moth, the beautiful Citheronia splendens. Now this female is currently displaying a threat posture, so she is playing dead, and this is what they would do if they sense a predator nearby. She tucks in her legs, curls her body, and will not move until she feels more secure and safe. So let me see if I can get her a little more comfortable and awake so you can get a good look at her. Okay, so now this is much better. Look at how glorious the patterning on the wings are. I love the charcoal gray with orange stripes, the black and orange eyes on the forewings, and the splotches of cream that look as if you took a paintbrush full of paint and flung it onto the wings. Prior to this transformation, this moth was an incredible larva, similar and related to the hickory horned devil, but colored very differently with shades of purple, orange, black, and white, but just as fierce looking and nearly as large. This species has only one brood per year and their adult life is short and without a mouth to eat, so their sole purpose is to secure the next generation. And they must accomplish this before running out of energy, which is about two weeks max. These moths are not common by any standards. They're only found in two places. They are mainly a Mexican species, but are also commonly found in Arizona where their caterpillars enjoy eating wild cotton and manzanita. In captivity, the caterpillars do well on sweet gum and sumac, but will take other host plants as well. Let's take a close up look at that candy cane colored abdomen. It is quite striking and very fuzzy. There are late summer species, usually seen flying in late July and August. And I'm trying to show you her face, but Citheronia splendens and other Citheronia species in general are very good at hiding their little eyes. So this female also has a few others of her kind waiting to emerge, and hopefully we can start the cycle anew with some eggs in the coming weeks. And if you live in Mexico or Arizona, keep your eye out for these magnificent beauties at nighttime near streetlights.